Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Hey guys, uh, I got a couple of requests, so I'm making this video to show you how to upgrade the firmware on a 5.1 or a firmware flash 4.1 Mac Pro to uh, enable native NVMe boot support. We're going to do this by using the Boot ROM 140 or 141 firmware updates that come packaged with the macOS Mojave installed. Now, before we can begin, there's a couple of prerequisites. Uh, first of all, you're going to have to have a metal capable GPU uh, and only a metal capable GPU installed. So, for anybody out there who likes to run a modern graphics card but also an older graphics card such as a GT120, uh, in order to get EFI boot screen support, you're going to have to remove the GT120 or any other uh, non-metal capable cards. Second, uh, in order to run this firmware update, you're going to have to be on macOS High Sierra. Okay, so first you're going to open the DOS Dude Patcher and it's going to uh, come up with a security exception. So you're going to have to go down into uh, System Preferences and you're going to have to enable it that. Once you have, uh, once you've authorized it in system preferences, go ahead and open it. Okay, so once you've gotten past Gatekeeper, uh, you're gonna go ahead and select uh, Tools and then download Mac OS. This will download it directly from the App Store and then select your download lo location, uh, wherever you want that to be. I usually use desktop for working files like this just to make life easy. And it'll download a full installer for Mac OS Mojave. Okay, so now we're to the point in the video where I become a little bubble in the corner. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to open the Mac OS Mojave installer, and once that pops up, it's going to prompt the firmware update. It's going to ask you to shut down the machine using the little shutdown button on the installer. It's going to ask for your password, and it's going to shut down. Okay, so once the machine is shut down, you're going to press and hold the power button until you hear a long tone. Takes about 15 seconds, maybe. This part's exciting, I know. Okay, the little light flashes. Give it about another second. Hear the tone. All right, so for the vast majority of you out there who are not gonna have an EFI boot screen while you're doing this, it's just gonna sit there uh, with a black screen for a good few minutes. If you do have uh, an EFI boot screen, like if you're using something like a GTX 680 or an AMD 7950, uh, you're just going to get a blank gray screen uh, because they've taken away the progress bar for the firmware updates. So that's nothing to worry about. Just wait, let it sit. Now we just need to go ahead and verify that all of that worked. So we're going to click on the little Apple logo up in the dock and you're going to hit about this Mac and then you're going to go to system report. When you go to system report, it should say boot ROM version 140.0.0.0, just to be clear. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and once you've done that, you're done. You can now close the Mojave installer. There's no need to go forward. I mean, you can if you want to, but it is in no way required. You now have native NVMe support. 